<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, hang on. All right, this is our fishing spots. Got some guys fishing over there. Slow fishing. Right there, trouble. Yeah, four legs. Four legs, trouble. Trying to chase after all the lures. Yeah. Flo found some uh, firewood. <laughs> Drug it up by the truck here. We're gonna burn this probably tonight. All right, it's our weekend fishing trip. That's the boat ramp. They got some big old commercial tires off some, I don't know what they came off of, some big old probably dump truck tires or something. All right, see ya. They could bring us some. Got some there. There he is. There's the dog. I'm taking a picture of the fire now. <laughs> You'd be really close to it. Yeah. But you can't go to the cabin with the fire pit and not have a fire. Oh, yeah. Yes, we're a little crazy. It's 85 degrees out and 
we have a fire going. <laughs> All right. Shoot some more video tomorrow. Catch you later. Bye. Oh, no, don't spill the beer. Okay, I spill my beer. Just say goodbye. Goodbye. Up, 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 up. Hey, take it easy. Hey, 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 hey. Get over here. Come on. There's the power plant. Dog, just to run off when he can, because he can. <laughs> Not too bad today. Somewhat nice. We're gonna try to fish this later on after we go to dinner in the, in the town, and. Uh, Going around here to check out spots. Some people doing some night fishing here. Yeah, this looks like a nice place. We'll check this out later. Hey, always something fun, huh? So here we are at the lake. And that's our cabin. It's down fishing, I had a flat tire. So it kind of pretty flat. So I got up here, I didn't think I had it. I forgot, I thought I left the pump at home, but I didn't. I put it behind the seat here. And uh, it's pumping it up. I don't know how bad the leak is. I might end up having to change it. I think the biggest thing is if I can get the lugs loose. Uh, I might try that here in a little bit. See if I get the lugs loose. I got a four-way, so. Um, yeah. So, uh, I ran the pump for five minutes. I'm shutting it off for 10 or 15 minutes and running it up for another five. I ran this thing for five minutes and this line is so hot. Man, it's smoking hot. It hurts, it's so hot. It's like 85 degrees out, so. You'll, you'll burn up these pumps if you don't run them for a little bit. So I ran it for five minutes. I'm going to leave it off for about 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to grab my little four-way out of here and see if I can get the lugs loose. Uh, I guess you can watch if you want. Let's see. There we go. Put it on the ground. There you go. See if I can get the lugs loose. They're supposed to be torqued to like 70 foot pounds. I think these are 70 or 80 foot pounds. I can't remember if I had the guys at the shop put these on. Sometimes they get kind of crazy, but most times they use a torque wrench. So if you get these on there and you can't seem to get them loose, you can loosen your lug nuts, drive it forward, hit the brakes, drive it backwards and hit the brakes. Sometimes it'll take that wheel and turn it just enough to break it loose from the hub, and then you'll be able to pop the wheel off. All right, another 10 minutes. We'll see if I can get this thing pumped up. All right, see ya. Well, I went inside for 10 minutes, 15, used the bathroom, and it's flat again. <laughs> That's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? I wonder if it was leaking out this thing. It might have been leaking out this thing. Huh. Maybe I should have taken that off. 
Now I'm starting right back to where I started from. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Fill it up and I'll take that stupid thing off. All right. All right. Fun, huh? Oh, well, I got this off. But it was stuck on there. <sighs> right here. Right on this little lip here. Little lip around here. We're stuck on the inside of this hub. So what I did is I put three, left three lugs on it and I put them on there loose like this here. Let's see, what, I think. Yeah, one of these I decided I had finger tight. Yeah. I'm sure how loose I had it. I just put three lugs, one here, one here, and one here. I took these, these other two, I took these two out, I left these three on, and I loosened it up like that. So you can see the, you can see the threads back there. Loosen it up that loose. And then I took the car and I drove the car forward about three feet, jammed the brakes. I backed it up about three feet, jammed the brakes. And then once I got it up a little bit, I gave the wheel a good kick and I could see the, the uh, rim flex away from the, the three bolts I had on there. But the hard thing on this, I guess this is a Honda Pilot, is getting this jack. It's got running boards on it. Great, I love these running boards. But to get the jack up underneath the running board onto the frame, lucky I had this. I've always carried these. Carried a two by six piece of wood in there. I always carry a two by six piece of wood because if you ever have this jacks and you're in any place where it's soft, your jack is gonna like sink into the dirt. So I always carry a two by six with me. So I'll tighten the lugs up on this one and then we'll have to find out what's leaking on this one. So when I get it home, we'll do a video on that. I think I might have put a plug in this like two years ago, but we'll have to see. I want to get this thing all together, man. It's, it's, it's like 80 degrees out here and I'm, I'm sweating bullets. Alrighty. <laughs> Vacation at the lake has a snag. <laughs> all right, see ya. Bye. Ah, here I'm out at the fire after changing the tire with my wife. It's our second night here camping at the lake. You can see some of the lights over there. That's the, uh, the power plant over on the other side of the lake. So we're sitting here. It's, it's about 77 degrees out. About 9.30 at night, and uh, we're just taking it easy. Tire's been changed. Lucky the spare had 40 PSI in it, and we're looking good. So we head back tomorrow, stop and put a few more pounds in it, and head home. All right. Hopefully tomorrow I'll take a picture of the inside of the cabin when we don't have all our junk all over the place. Uh, right before we go, I'll try to remember, take a picture so you guys can see inside of this cabin. All right, you guys have a good night. See you later. Bye. Un un open the thing so you can see it. All right, wait for it to. All right, this is the cabin. There's a picture of the lake. This is our campfire from last night. Got a little cooking grill down there. cooking grill down there, it's adjustable. Got a picnic table. Got a pretty nice lot big deck here. And there's a cabin. Let's walk off the deck here. Kinda watch this deck. <laughs> there's a cabin right next door. And then there's one down. There's like three of them in a row here. This is cabin one. Something chewing, trying to get in here. Lo showed me that earlier. This is the cabin. Got a couple windows there. We put our fan up on that deal and we got a little fan to kind of blow the AC around when it's got hot. We'll go back in here, check out the bathroom, bathroom shower. 
Did I got this thing backed up. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Twaity. Then you got a nice little shower. Eh, shower. Water heater. And there's the other to the left. Or I'm sorry, to the right of the door is another bed. And then there's the AC. And you have a little little refrigerator. Not real big, but it's got a little freezer. Sink area. You got hot plates up above. We can use those. Cutting board. Fuse panel. So, very nice. Not bad. We got to sweep up before we go. Got some junk there on the floor. But, uh, yeah, nice. We'll be back. Maybe we'll be shooting another one. Maybe in October, November. We'd like to come up here. We did for years. Last time we were here is uh, 2012. So, uh, they have the uh, pet sign here. It's not $25 a day, it's $25 for your stay, which is nice. We've gone to places that's stupid, like $20 a day. Uh, so, we can like our, take our puppy with us. There's little bar stools there. A little counter you could sit up there and eat. We, we kind of brought some of our camping equipment we never used, stoves and and my little foldable table and we wanted to try that out with our chairs to see if uh, everything fits. Okay. That don't come with the cabin. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Alright, good deal. We both had fun. Other than the flat tire, we had no incidents. Everything was great here. The people are nice. Docks. Yeah, flow didn't fall didn't in the water. Myself with any fish. Yeah. First rule of thumb for flow is don't fall in the water. <laughs> don't stab myself with the fish. Yeah, don't stab yourself with the fish. Okay. Years and years ago, we went camping and she pulled up a catfish yep. out of the water. It swung back and stuck her in the leg and the uh, barb stuck in her leg. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> she can tell you that one in a later video. All right, see you later. All right, bye. <laughs> well, I told you I would show you the tire. and. Tried plugging it, but there's a big old slice. I think you can see it here. The slice goes all the way up, right up to about the center there. Let's see, slice goes all the way up to right about there. I did pull a piece out right here. A little piece of steel. That's what I pulled out of the tire. Almost kind of like a razor on one edge here. I don't know. So I think the steel must have probably just when the tire broke off and I tried putting a plug in it, but I thought it might have just been a small puncture in one spot, but it, it's, it's it's leaking all the way across here. You can see it's it's pretty bad all the way around. So I gotta get a new <laughs> gotta get a new tire. Uh, we'll see if I can find one tomorrow. We had a good weekend. Uh, it's nice just to get away uh, for a couple days. Flo had been pretty busy, and I've been busy, and we planned this ahead just to take off. Our next vacation, I think we might take off on my birthday. Uh, head down to Fort Scott. There's a lake down there we want to check out. So maybe we'll be uh, camping somewhere in the fall. We kind of got a late start getting our gear all together, and then it just went from being nice to get being hot. And uh, not a big, want to lay in a tent and sweat. We do have the air conditioner, so we're going to try that. Uh, <laughs> when we go down, whether we're going to run it or not, is uh, we'll see. So, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, see you later. Bye.